In this video tutorial, we are going to learn functions regarding Microsoft Excel charts and graphs. Uh, we will also try to understand why uh, picture speaks more than 1000 words using uh, these features. And uh, one of the ways of doing that is going back to the case study where we had a lot of data. And uh, as we could see that uh, in this uh, list of employees, we these were coming from different departments and uh, were from different genders, of course. And uh, what we found earlier was that uh, uh, the bifurcation in terms of departments was something like this. Marketing 7, IT 4, Finance 4 and Support as 4. So for this, let us move to sheet number 7 and let's try to kind of populate this data. So we are going to make charts in this sheet 7 and uh, one thing which is first and foremost is to have the data on sheet 7. So for this we can do two things. We can either manually populate this one by one or the better approach would be to link sheet 7 to sheet 1 where your original data lies. So that's what we are going to do. So in order to do the, these kind of references what you need to do here is press equal to and go to sheet 1. Select C30 in sheet 1 because this is the one which we really want to populate and press enter. So the moment you do that you will find that the cell corresponding to sheet 1 C30 gets populated or linked in sheet 7. Likewise we can go back to sheet 1 and link IT and press enter. So that's how you know we can link we can also make use of copy and paste function in this case since I have linked let's say marketing I can just copy this link and paste it across by right clicking and pasting it so in this way I have all the data with me in terms of the departments can I press this data and pull that across in the next row yes we can because that's what we have learned earlier in the video references linkages so this is how you know it works one question which I really want to make all of you understand is that in these set of cross references what happens is let's say if I try to link this equal to sheet 1 and let's say I want to link this to XYZ company okay so I need to press enter in order to display what is written in sheet 1 B2 now let's say if I don't press enter and I'll redo it in this cell and let's say I select this she cell B2 and I don't press enter and before I do that I go back to sheet 7 and then I press enter see what happens the problem is that instead of selecting sheet 1 when I click on sheet 7 again it goes back to sheet 7 and references from the original one now let us plot this graph on the data which we have just referenced so select this data which is the department data as well as the number of employees data and go to insert and inside the insert tab you will find there's a box which contains details of charts now in this details of charts you'll find there are different varieties which are mentioned in terms of what kind of chart you want when we click on columns you'll find there are two dimensional three dimensional cylindrical charts, conic charts, pyramid charts under the line we have two dimensional charts and then you know uh, charts with markers we have pie charts, we have bar charts, we have area charts, scattered charts you know other charts as well so uh, let us plot the first one the basic one which is the two dimensional chart which we call that as a clustered column chart so I can just press enter and the moment I do that you know I see that uh, you know uh, the chart has been prepared now on the right hand side you'll find this is series 1 the marketing IT finance support this comes under the uh, the horizontal bar and the number of employees actually are on the vertical bars there's no heading as such on this chart so uh, let's make this chart a bit more uh, intuitive so first thing first you know I don't want this series one on the right hand side so what I do is I can select the series one and click right click and delete it so this is what I have done at the first place I want to make this chart more self intuitive so for doing that let us label this chart go to layouts and we need to select the chart title 
so you can have different kinds of chart titles here you can have above the chart center overlay charts or maybe you know as above the chart you can also have that so let's let's have it above the chart and we will call that as department wise employee is this is the title of the chart now this title of the chart may look too big as of now so if we want to reduce the font we can do that at once so select this title and you can go here and reduce the font as well so let me choose font size as 12 as of now the other thing is uh, what I need to do is uh, let's say these are the vertical uh, titles which I need to add in, on the left hand side so again I can go to the layout these are the access titles uh, this is the primary access I can have different kinds of titles it can have a rotated title let's say a rotated title would be the one which looks a bit rotated employee count this is the rotated one let's say if I am not too keen on the rotated one you know we can choose a vertical employee count or you may choose a, a horizontal title as such uh, let me for the sake of convenience here let me use a rotated title as of now so on this side we have the department here we have the employee count and uh, the other things that we can do in this chart is let's say we can change the color of the bars let's say I'm not satisfied with blue color options which we used in the chart so if I want to change this I can go to shape fill from the format menu and I can change the colors so let's say if you want to have green or gray you know let's let's choose gray for the time being so this is what let's say you know we want it in terms of the color the other things which are available here is the data labels you know, the data labels are basically the ones which if I press center you'll understand data labels are the count in terms of the department so against this data uh, marketing there were seven employees so data label when it is used as centered it shows in between or in the middle likewise you can have inside end you can play with these set of options inside base or let's say outside end so let me keep it in the outside end of the bars because this this more looks intuitive as such the other thing which is available in the uh, menu bar is the under the layout section is the data table so do you want to show the data table if you press ok you'll find that under each uh, each department you'll find that there's a data label associated with it so this is also another twist to the table which you want to create uh, let me go back to the one where we came from the horizontal lines here are basically known as the grid lines okay so these are the vertical grid lines so uh, which are already visible however if you want to show the horizontal grid lines you can also do that 